but we will go ahead and get things going. We'll, we'll do some stuff with you guys tonight. So, to recap, um, as a group, you were able to successfully break into the old burned-out church there in southeastern New San Antonio and uh, fight your way through the uh, various and sundry slavers gathered there within. You helped uh, rescue Lorelei, who is a uh, leader of the mutant underground and a mutant in her own right with the ability to uh, manipulate minds. In uh, Rift's terminology, she's what is known as a mind melter. So if, oh. so if you ever want to get a, you know, an idea of what mind melters are, you can always just flip open your uh, Rift's ultimate edition and just check out mind melters, and that's essentially what she is. But they call all psionics kind of mind melters. So it's not like necessarily they, <laughs> that they all melt minds. It's that they're my yeah. melta. <laughs> You're able to uh, help her. You uh, had some casualties along the way. You had that one strange uh, moment where things got weird, and you all found yourself suddenly um, turned into a coalition soldier. You're not sure exactly what that was. If that was some kind of uh, I'm not going to put any kind of mind melting. <laughs> yeah, supposition forward on my part, whether it's hallucination or what what happened. But you, yeah, you guys aren't quite sure what happened there. Uh, you discovered that um, the colonel had somehow uh, brought back uh, Zytikix from his time in the war up north and had begun uh, building his own hive there beneath the old burned out church. Uh, so as a group basically everybody else decided they wanted to go back and deal with this and they kind of bribed Nicodemus to come along by promising that you could get all the gear and sell it to uh, get all the money that you needed um, but uh, the rest want to make sure that uh, you deal with that Zytikic, uh hive at least and make sure that the uh, there aren't any leftover slaves and that the bulk of the slave leaders and lieutenants have actually been dealt with um, so, during the last session, you guys were able to successfully take down the Broadkill Demon, who was one of the, the lieutenants, and then also uh, the war leader, who was a rather powerful dog boy there. Um, and as far as you know, um, you have liberated the bulk of, of the slaves here in um, the temple proper, in, in the old burned out church. And um, you know that there is one, at least one major lieutenant left here on the upper level, which is a Simvan priestess. Um, now, one of the things you guys have not really done as yet is put any thought into what a Simvan is, but I guess you can do that as you go go forward a little bit. But um, what you've you've gathered from uh, both Lorelai and the the slaves that you helped free, the former slaves, is that uh, she's a priestess of Zyptotec, which is ancient Aztec or Mayan god that's uh, essentially a god of flaying, so they do really, she does really horrible things, and um, she probably has more slaves in her possession back in the rectory, um, so as a group, you've decided that you will make an effort at least to, uh, to go in and deal with that. Um, okay, since we've got uh, some players out, um, what we're going to do is, okay, so, uh, as you're making your way uh, back to the main courtyard, um, you notice there that the, the harpies um, come flying in back towards the garden area. Where they had been led out on a chase by Reese beforehand. I said Reese, confusing the character with the the PC. Okay, the Tourmaline. So Tourmaline says, "Go forward, help the other slaves, and I will strike the harpies again, and we'll have Tourmaline fly out and lead the harpies out on a a grand chase again here to kind of keep them all occupied." So. So she darts back out into the 
into the garden area where you see the harpy screeching and, and howling, and uh, she immediately takes off to the skies before they have a chance to start singing and uh, leads them away on a, an attempt to distract them. So there you go. All right, so the good doctor, Dr. Kaiser there, tells you... Um, Yes, according to the schematics, there should be uh, another central computer unit there located in the guardhouse. If we can, while you distract the guards here, I'll make my way to the computer and see if I can shut down any security, security operations that they have in effect, be they cameras or automated uh, defenses and whatnot, and I can also begin downloading a lot of information that would be very helpful to the underground in our, our efforts uh, to bring down the slave lord ring across the new west. And with that, he gives you kind of a nod. And again, I don't want to bot his character either. He's actually got a pretty complex character. Uh, it's a combination of a couple different classes, so um, yeah. So that is going to be his objective. So he basically tells you that as you guys do this, he's going to head over to the guardhouse there and try to start hacking that computer as fast as possible. Um, so you can tell by looking at the board there, um, there's at least uh, one guard still hidden out there in the, um, in the courtyard, and he's guarding the double doors that lead to, lead to the rectory, which is where the, the Simvan Priestess is, which is the other lieutenant that you guys want to deal with. Okay. All right. So before we do that, why don't you guys roll the D100 and see who gets the free re-roll tonight Ooh. between the two of you. Uh-oh, 49. On the low side. Halfway. 65. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> right, so Don gets the re-roll. And then the dragon comes in and is like, 100! And, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, eh. 99, exactly. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so um, so this brings us up to here. All right, so you guys are you're in the hallway. Um, <coughs> Tormline is distracting the harpies. You know that you've taken out uh, several lieutenants here on the upper level. The bulk of the dog boys and the mercenaries have been taken out. Um, there's a guard leading to uh, the section that you need to make your way into. But at the present, you have your door closed, and you can kind of uh, figure out how you want to approach this. Okay. In the beginning, I want to I want to cast see invisibility. Okay. Just in case there's more out there. Okay. <laughs> Good idea. And because uh, it was like one guard after we just you know made me wonder, so I cast that, and I go, shall I take shall I take the lead or will you proceed? Are you? No, I can go first. It doesn't matter. Okay. I'll go hide in those rocks. <laughs> I'll give you guys a... I can throw some rocks and get us distraction. I'll give you uh, the description of the main courtyard here, and then you can go back to discussing it. Um, so just beyond the door is the courtyard, which is a large open area. For the most part, it's bare dirt, but tall, rank weeds grow up in the corners. At the north end is the large gatehouse leading outside. Uh, the way is blocked by two heavy portcullises. There's a wooden door on either side of the gate. Opposite the gatehouse is a pair of the huge double doors leading to the rectory. In the courtyard, you can see there are two tables, one near the gate and the other near the church doors, and an unusual-looking push cart. Push cart, excuse me. I uh, can't read for some reason. Uh, when you first came through here, there was a group of uh, dog boys that were out there and um, uh, several uh, just various and sundry Pecos raiders types. But uh, when you uh, when you initiated the attack on the uh, on the slave leader, the broad kill demon, uh, they, they actually ran in as reinforcements and you were able to, to deal with them all. You actually blew a bulk of them up with those grenades. Oh, and about the grenades, last time I got a little confused on that, I didn't realize you were talking about the grenades from uh, from uh, the modern path, and those are actually our 
they do more damage, but they're easier to dodge. So I was confused on that. I thought we were talking about the grenades from the technology guide. So that will happen sometimes. We just have to pin down the source book so to make sure okay. that, we're, that I understand which one we're that, which one we're talking about. So yeah. Um, so that is fine. So that is where you are, and you can see there's like a couple of vehicles up there. They've got the typical kind of like wasteland dirt buggies that they ride around and stuff that you'd see in something like Mad Max or what have you. So Lorelai says, uh, Would you like me to distract him, or do you have something more direct you'd like to do? Hmm, you distracted him. That, that'll make things quiet, huh? Oh, I'm in favor okay. of that. That'll work. <laughs> she says, okay, well. Then uh, I have to get up to where he can, he can hear me then. So she asks you to open the door for her. I'm going to slowly, with caution, open the door. <laughs> okay, so uh, before she steps out, she starts yelling, Hello, hello! So you can hear you can hear her voice right away before she is uh, put into view of danger um, to potentially be shot. Because right away, you can see that the raider raises his rifle, and he is ready to shoot, but... Um, she says, uh, "Hello, I'm I'm lost. I need I need help finding my way back to the slave pits below. I am just a lowly escaped servant, and I'm scared and lost. And you should help me." And as she speaks, you know, her voice has kind of this lullaby, sing-song quality to it. And you all feel your eyes kind of grow heavy and droop, and you have to kind of catch yourself for a moment, realizing that you're not sitting at home nodding off and as she does that um, this guy's gonna have to make a will save and he makes a save so he is gonna shoot at her <laughs> I, guess roll I guess we're rolling initiative <laughs> yeah well he's gonna make it he's gonna take a shot he had a shot ready so she tried to, okay she tried to uh yeah um get him before he could get his shot off but since he made a save he his ready shot is going to go off. Alright, so he takes a shot at her. Her armor class is not great, but it's good enough. And plus, she's on the other side of the vehicle that. Pow, pow! That it misses. And now you guys can roll some initiative. Uh, click on character. Shit, I didn't put the thing up. There we go. Okay. Did your initiative pop up right? Mine did. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yep. Roll initiative. Alright, you got everybody on there. There we go. So it's like the party order is going to be Nicodemus up first, then uh, Lorelai, Bella, and then uh, Dr. Kaiser is last, and he said he's going to make his way to the art house there. Okay. Okay. So round one. Nicodemus, what do you do? So I move to here at first. Um, I want to climb on top of the... Because that's five, ten feet so far. Okay. Um, how high is it on top of the... We'll feet? just count as five feet, just moving up on it. Okay. Five feet. I'm assuming I can see him now, so it has a little bit higher ground. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna take a shot at him. Okay. He's a bow. He's got a little bit of cover because he's got the overturned table there. 
so he's got he does right. have some cover to help his uh that's fine and 15 so that would be help his ac just a little bit plus one It misses. That misses. In turn. Yep, 12 is going to miss. So, phew, your arrow goes a little wide. I ended turn. Okay. I was trying to get the music set right here. Right there. Oh, yeah. Wait. <clears throat> All right, so this is a little alive. Let's see if she can. Each 20 feet. All right, she's close enough. All right, so she is going to try to mentally, like, disable him is actually the name of the ability. You just see her put her put her fingers up to her temples. And she's like squinting her her eyes in concentration. He kind of wobbles in place and puts his hand up to his head as though he were suddenly drunk. Okay, and that time he failed his save. Okay, so she, uh, so she says, uh, ah, there, I've made him believe that he's asleep. Uh, as long as we don't, as long as we don't interfere with him, he shouldn't, he shouldn't do anything as long as he's, uh, he's under my mental domination. And how long would that last? Uh, it will last for a few minutes, which would give us time to make our way further inside unless you have other suggestions and that's what she says okay so Bella mm. what do you do just go ahead and stay in initiative right now Phil before you start moving and see what, what they yeah. do I am just going to so some more 10 and 15 just I guess I'm just gonna move right there And watch and see if I see him being suspicious and ready a swing if I need to. Okay. <coughs> All right. So we'll have the doctor double move. Ooh, uh, I'll make my way to the gatehouse. Okay, so he just he just stands there uh, with his head nodded forward like he's asleep, just standing there. So do mm. we go to the gate house too? No, we're gonna have to go. Okay. Yeah, the doctor yeah. says, uh, no, I will uh, see if I can hack the computers. He opens the door. I don't know if you guys can see in there. So you can see there's a computer on the far wall and um, he also says, oh, there are, there are more prisoners in here. Uh, when he opens the door, they immediately start calling out to him. There's like a couple in there. They're like, oh, help us, help us. I didn't know if those were prisoners or not. <laughs> Lorelai says, uh, yes, uh, there were some in there during my time as a captive as well. Um, yes, we should, uh, we should definitely help them. And she goes over to see what they're doing. So uh, no, oh, before she go, I wanted to say, are, are we able to cuff this guy or tie him up without bring him out of his thing, or that would that bring him out of his trance? Like if we, man, you know, manacle, because it's not harming him. I wasn't sure. That's what I was gonna ask her. Okay, let me 
place. <sighs> Like, at least could we get his weapon from him? She says, um, she says, as long as you don't hurt him, he should be okay. So, uh, is it my turn again? I don't want to go out of initiative. Yeah, we'll go ahead and break initiative for now. Okay. I walk over and I uh, pull out a set of my uh, manacles and tie up his hands, feet, and gag him with some cloth. Okay. <laughs> and I figure we put him, maybe put him right here. So it kind of out of sight, covered by that, and the... Oh, somebody's rubbing on the microphone. Yeah, oh, I was like... Didn't mean to, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I thought you were doing it. I thought something was coming. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I said, uh-oh, something's been alerted. <laughs> my ear was itching. <laughs> Scratching my ear. Say I'm just going to do that, but manacle him. Okay. All right. So you can kind of lean him over to the side there and lead him out. Yeah. Sing him a lullaby while you move him. Lucky his lullaby isn't the forever sleep. <laughs> Being a slaver. Yet. He got lucky. All right. So Lorelai is helping. Um, Helping free the slaves in the guardhouse there, and the doctor immediately starts working on the computer. Says, oh, yeah, just, just shut down the, the various monitors. And he starts hacking into it and whatnot. Okay, which leaves the way open for you guys to make your way into. Okay. Into so the record. I'm going to roll some. Pre uh. Is it some perception? Okay. I'm gonna check if I hear anything. Or, and I, first one to the check if I just hear anything beyond the door. Twenty-five. Okay. okay uh, you do hear like some distant chanting, like. Okay. You know, just it's not on the other side of the door, but it's like way down, like down the long hallway or something. Or something. Okay. And does the door, I want to check to see if the door is locked. Okay. The door is not locked. Locked? Okay. Nope. The I'm double assuming... doors are five foot wide and ten feet high. Um, the per perception to see if I. Uh, is it appear to be trapped at all? Okay. Perception on that too. Ooh, Ooh very good. Cool. Nice. It's definitely not trapped. Okay. Shall we proceed? Oh, wrong character. Shall we proceed? That's <laughs> to you. <laughs> so I open the. I cracked the door open. Okay. Shh. Open that up for you. I'll tell you what you see here in a second. Do. Okay, so beyond the doors is a corridor stretching as far as the eye can see. Well, not quite that far, but that's some flowery writing. Every ten feet, there are statues in niches on both sides. The statues are lifelike carvings of angels and gargoyles set in five-foot-high blackstone pedestals. Each angel carries a different weapon in an attack position, while the gargoyles are crouched ready to spring at an unknown foe. All the statues are clean, clear, and look relatively new. Hmm. And you can see there at the far end of uh, the hallway, there's another set of double doors, uh, much like these wooden, five feet wide, ten feet high. 
and the chanting that you were hearing uh, seems to be coming from the other side. You still hear the chanting. Okay. I did uh, open it, you know, fully open it. I wanted to detect magic. Do I detect magic in the hallway? Okay. Yes, you detect magic in the hallway. One moment. Let me see if I can identify okay. what magics. Magics are afoot. So, I want to wait for so other people can try other thing while I go through the rounds. Okay. All right. So you are detecting a strong aura of transmutation magic in the hallway, and it's pinpointed right about here. Okay. He, okay, down there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do I need to get closer to be able to try to? Identify the spell, or can I? Uh, no, you can try to identify. You, you've got your gold. Okay. Just the spell. Okay. All right. Let's see. Which one I'm going to count for? Spellcraft. Since you're using detect magic, it's not quite the same as examining like a magic item. You have to kind of right. turn, turn it over in your hands and stuff. Let's see. Go for a good roll. Ah, 25, another 20. Nice. Woohoo. Going hot tonight. Keep it up. Ah, ah. All them weeks are rolling low. <laughs> okay, well, since you rolled so well, I will let you know. <laughs> All the weeks are rolling low. <clears throat> okay, so you recognize it as a magical glyph. Uh, so if you get close to it, it is going to. Uh, blast you with electrical energy. There's kind of an electrical, magical electrical bomb up, front, up there. And since I know know the spell, do um, just 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 proximity, no way around it. Well, you can attempt to disable it somehow if you have that capability, okay. but I don't think anybody does. No, no. It, the disable magical device, basically. Yeah, right? it's a magic. Yeah, it's a magic. Draft. Can we throw right. something in it and it make it go off, and then we'd be okay? Maybe we can throw this fellow, and then if someone comes out, they, he accidentally walked into it. Let's just tune. Let's just <laughs> tune to him, and when he would activate it, you gonna carry him down there and throw him? Uh, yes. I mean the burly unit. You can always toss him. Oh, I could toss him. Okay. <laughs> um, I can toss him. I can toss him. Lola, could you, if we untie him, would you assist him and have him walk further up? <laughs> okay. The calmest mind as we walk him to his, uh, to us, <laughs> as they say. He what? can, like, sleepwalk into it. Well, yeah, he thinks he's, yep. uh, well, under my power, he thinks he's asleep at the moment. He thinks he's been disabled, so he won't be able to walk unless I release the power. We'll carry him. Since he's asleep, maybe he can feel as though he's in a bed. <laughs> so she nods. She's okay with that. Okay. I move. I see. It's up to you, my dear. All right, so you're going to go over and pick him up now. Give us a, a strength check Hello? there to lift him up. Oh, um, strength. Bella. strength, 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 strength. Do I just click on strength? Yep, just hit the strength button on your, on your character sheet. Okay. What is your, uh, oh. <laughs> uh, what's your, what's your, um, strength bonus? My bonus is... I don't know. I have a five, number five mod modifier. Okay, yeah, that's what I need. All right, you lift. Oh, okay. Up. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so you hoist him up over your shoulder. What do you do? And I'm gonna hum a little old lullaby that my mother used to hum to me. <laughs> la la la. And I guess. Do I know how close I can get to it before I activate it? 
Nicodemus, uh, will you tell me? With the assume I knew. How far would the blast radius be? It will be. I'm assuming with that 20 or 32. I would. It's going to affect all the adjacent squares there. Okay. La, 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 la. Just be beyond this point. Okay. La, la, la. La, la, la. <laughs> la, la. And I'm going to gently place him in, I guess, that block right there. Did that ding? Did it make a little circle? Just, yeah, that block. You just throw him. Boosh. Okay. <laughs> and I'm running the other way. Yeah, yeah, we go back out to close the door. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, so you chunk him there, and that's going to uh, set off the, the uh, trap. And a burst Whoa. of electrical energy explodes in the hallway and uh, come beyond the door. Just completely Whoa. fries him. And, I have uh, to get the door on my screen. Disperses the, the glyph for now. <coughs> uh, I listen to see, and, I, and I listen to see if anyone comes into the hall. To check. And I wipe the sweat from my brow and like, oh, that was close. No one huh. comes into the hall, but the chanting stops. Uh -oh. Okay. I figured we may want to wait just a bit. Want them to come to us, don't you? We can take them off at the door. <laughs> yeah, one by one, just chop. <clears throat> Lorelai says, uh, yeah, it may take some more effort to draw the priestess out if she's in her if she's in her sanctuary, she may feel safe. Oh, okay. what, do you, safe what do you know about the Simpson? Who is she talking to? She's talking Us? to you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she, she asked you about the symphony. <laughs> I know nothing. Let me, hold on. Let me review my notes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm trying to see if I remember what we were told. I don't think you know anything yet. Uh, okay. All me, right. I think so. Let me uh, get, the, recall it. get the book right quick. For some reason, I don't have it right here. I'll be right back. Yeah. All right. <laughs> like, uh, you talking about? I, I did, totally didn't remember anything. I nothing. Come here. No, uh, 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 to, to start. Okay, I'm going to the restroom. Okay, sorry about that. Just went to the bathroom too. Okay. Got so many source books. I'm having reference for this. I wind up spreading them out everywhere. All right. Um. So who has knowledge local? I think only the monkey has that. Yeah. 
think that was the I didn't have that one. That's not one of my opponents. I, she might. I can't remember if she does or not. It's, <clears throat> somebody did. Have, I think someone eventually. It may be. Yeah, the doctor has all of the knowledge. Oh, so yeah, 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 when yeah, it came in. Everything. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we'll have him talk. I can't remember. Oh, I can, I can pull her up. Let's see if she had that. She put out her sheets in there. She loves that. Can't remember. You know, fighters don't get much <laughs> knowledge. Oh, yeah, they don't get many skill points at all. So you get dungeoneering and engineering. Okay. Alright, we'll the doctor will take that. We'll let her wait for her to come back. I'm back. Okay, welcome back. Thank you. Okay, so um, Dr. Kaiser will fill you guys in on about the uh, the Simbin there as uh, he is the most knowledgeable. Oh, goodness. I've got weird names on all my handouts. I can't find the handout. Let me get the, the picture for you. That is a drawback. I'm going to have to just start naming everything properly. <laughs> I can search for it. <laughs> okay, here's the list. Okay, this is not what you see, but this is what you see in your mind's eye, okay? Okay. Um, so he says, uh, <clears throat> Yes, uh, the Simvans, they're also known as monster riders. An alien menace that, uh, they're a race of intelligent humanoid cannibals. Nomadic warriors who travel in clans and tribes. Culture is not unlike most nomadic societies. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The men are the builders, hunters, and protectors. Our women are homemakers who bear and raise children, prepare food, make clothes. The women are also healers and often possess natural psionic abilities. The men do not possess such. The Simvin are known as monster riders because they have an uncanny ability to tame monsters and use them as mounts and beasts of burden. The monsters selected are frequently creatures believed to be untamable, but always carnivorous. The most favorite mount is a dinosaur-like creature known as Ostrosaurus. But the Simvin have also used many other creatures, including the rhino buffalo. They are not stupid and will not attack enemies with vastly superior numbers or power unless defending the tribe or their family. However, they love to fight and encourage settling disputes or proving one's honor to combat the opposing or the accused person. Although they are, the, although they are cannibals, the Simvan do not necessarily attack and eat anybody they encounter. They frequently trade with humans and other humanoids offering furs, wild and tame horses, as well as their services as a scout, hunter, or bodyguard. They usually barter for mega damage weapons and eclipse, body armor, and supplies. Likewise, they are often acquaintances with mountain men and wilderness scouts. In most territories outside of the Pecos Empire, the Simbans favorite humanoid associates are size stalkers and intelligent mutant animals, which would explain why the priestess has her own dog boy guards. They must have become loyal to her. The, the two races are often allowed official admittance into each other's tribes as long as they obey tribal laws and customs. In the Pecos Empire, the Simvin are among the most feared of all tribes and bandits. They are feared as warriors, but also because of their monstrous appearance. Most can be found in the high plains of the Lone Star State, or in the Bend, or the Rio Grande Plain. Simvin can also be found throughout the plains and deserts of the American West. 
<laughs> this voice is killing me. Oh shit. Ah. <laughs> Parts of northern Mexico and Calgary, although most prefer plains and prairies, to the northern or eastern forces. Forests. They have very keen vision and night vision. Uh, often the women will have psionic abilities, but this apparent this priestess must have the backing of some sort of deity giving her other abilities. And it'll tell you a little bit more. Uh, clashes and raids between enemy tribes occur a handful of times a year as do clashes between extremist factions. However, tribes of Simvin monster riders, broad kills, and some wild clans of Psy stalkers have become mortal enemies to all the Native Americans in the New West. It would seem these aliens regard Native Americans, especially the traditionalists and pure ones, as both rivals and enemies. This is in part due to the fact that they tend to hunt and travel and they claim to many of the same territories, particularly in the Central Plains and Southern Canada. Another is the fact that Simvin and Broadkill typically prey on humans and other humanoids as their favorite source of food, which adds an entirely new dimension to the situation. <laughs> so, that's what he tells you, uh, roughly about them. So you know that they're, they're humanoid and they're cannibals. Um, you know, they're just it's kind of a crazy, monstrous, humanoid type of creature. So, they, they can all essentially be different. It just depends on what you encounter, what kind of gear that they have, or what kind of uh, individual abilities that they have. So, you just have to wait and... Yeah. Wait and see um, about this one in particular. Anyway, shall we proceed? So, sure. uh, so Lorelai says, um, "So, uh, do we have a plan, or are we just going to just walk in and introduce ourselves?" Uh, I figured that if one of the things we could try, we could either make a bunch of racket, lure them outside. So we get them all in this hallway, or uh, we could, I could sneak in, turn invisible, just to see. There's a scout in the beyond the door. So Lord, look and see. Lorelai offers to, um, I could potentially get them to open the door, but it would, uh, I would have to put myself in danger do such a thing, but I might be able to draw some of them out. That would be, that would be efficient. Are we drawing we could them be, out here? At least in the hallway, and then we could battle oh. them in the hallway when you would keep us from being surrounded. Yes. Well, she says um, she has to get close to where she can talk to Right. Them. Yeah. So she'll, right. she'll have to be up close to them. So, why don't we do this? I'll turn invisible and accompany you just in case there are things don't go well. Uh, she says, very well. Right. So, she can try her compelling voice on them and then I'll just we'll come down to their saves. So, are you going to turn invisible? Yeah. They only get it for minutes per level, so I don't want to <laughs> waste the walk time. Okay. So uh, I'll use that spell. Turn it. Invisibility. Boom. Okay. So yeah. We'll mark you invisible. I added a new set of uh, tokens on here to try to cover some of the ones that we were missing beforehand. All right. All right, so she is actually going to try to take cover behind all these statues there, just in case things go south. <laughs> or so smart. <laughs> so, Bella, what are you doing? Um, I'm going to go hide behind one of them, too. As you're running. Mechanical legs. <laughs> Ta-da! I'll hide here. Okay. 
All right, so Lorelai calls out. She says, uh, help me, help me. Uh, I'm lost and I need, I need help. So uh, there's there's two dogwood guards there just inside the door. They actually seem like they were waiting on you guys. So they will have to save against her voice. Her compelling voice ability. Which uh, all the psionics are in the Ultimate Psionics uh, book, by the way. So if, you ever, if you're curious about any of them, you can always look up into them. Yeah, or if you ever decide you want a multi-class and you want to just drop in a psionic class, it's something you can do. Okay. Got one save. And one fail. Okay. So one of them did indeed save. The other one failed. So you hear uh, some commotion behind the door. Uh, what are you doing? Stop that! <laughs> and, uh, the door is one of the doors is opening. So the door opens and uh, it's open on this side where this guy's standing. Okay. Um, okay. It seems that he he's opened the door. He's actually succumbed to uh, to Lorelai's voice. Every uh, guy's close enough. And he's close enough. Okay. So have to to you. Okay. Failed you. Nice. Set them on their way. <laughs> and you hear somebody bark out in a language that you're not familiar with. It's coming from the back part of uh, the rectory there, which is just completely dark for some reason. Like, you can't see into it. It's... Well, do you have, uh, who has dark vision? My character does. Okay, so you have dark vision. So you actually can't see into it. It is not it's not deeper darkness like you know, like we run into with the I have stuff. goggles to help me see. So Let me find put them on the board. Okay, so you can see there at the back um, there's like a, a statue that's like covered in blood and has like board viscera hanging from it. There's four people that are chained up around the base. And you can see the, the priestess is uh, there to the side, uh, riding on a small dinosaur. Well, it looks like there's a row of uh, slaves just off to the side. I'll give you the um, the proper room description here. So, beyond the huge double doors is a large open room uh, lit by braziers and candles um how's my connection i'm showing that i'm dropping out here can you guys hear me no okay you cannot i'll wait for that to come up then dropped out. Okay, well, whomever is watching the stream, apologies for that. I'll just show you this lovely picture again.
we go. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, my connection just completely dropped out. Uh, what was the oh, last yeah. thing you heard from me? Um. Wow. You just said that the statue was bloody. Okay. All right. So I was I was going to give you uh, the room description. Yeah. So you see the bloody statue. There's uh, there's chained up slaves around the base there. Yeah. And you can see the Simvin priestess. Um, those of you that have dark vision anyway, if you have your dark vision active, you can see into the darkness there. You can see the priestess is riding her small dinosaur. Um, oh, okay. I want to ride a dinosaur. So just beyond the huge double doors is a large open room lit by braziers and candles. Uh, the back half of the room is currently enshrouded in deep magical darkness. The scent of incense is faintly noticeable. Across the room, opposite the door, is a dais and an altar. It uh, consists of a semicircular three-step raised platform projecting out from the wall. On the dais rests a gigantic statue. statue at the back. <clears throat> so you see uh, it's the statue of a humanoid. It's draped with bits of gore and blood. Um, in front of the statue uh, are uh, three dog boys uh, dressed in tactical gear and carrying weaponry. Behind them uh, is riding uh, the Simvin Priestess. And uh, she yells out in common from the darkness, Kneel before the flayed one, heathen, or spend eternity in everlasting torment! To the right of the double doors is a poor box mounted on the wall, and to the left is a large grisly font with ten slaves chained hand and foot beside it. Okay. Okay, so that would be a good time to... Bean footage. <laughs> what is that from? I heard somebody else say that today. Oh, oh it's a uh, oh, commercial. Bushes baked beans. Bushes oh, baked okay. Beans. <laughs> yeah. Somebody said that on a YouTube video I was watching. Like, hey, this is what Bill always says. Oh, darn. The time to roll low. <laughs> oh. I guess I didn't. I get the bad thing. Yeah, I didn't click on my. I got a nine. And click on your character. Yep. Rule of three. Okay. All right. So fortunately, Laura Lai has occupied at least two of the dog boy guards for now, which is which is good. Um, so you know, as long as you don't mess with them, that she. She should be able to keep them occupied while you try to deal with uh, the priestess. And they have the little swirls on them? Yep, they've got the swirls on them there. And they, and then this, I'm assuming uh, this door is open? Yeah, on the side where he's standing. Yeah, so the other one is okay. closed. This side is closed. Yeah. Can I see and I say, I whisper, I will distract the priestess. We'll sneak in straight for her. I'll try to get her to... Cause you can't... I don't know how her pop thing were. I know you have those, uh, what, the infrared goggles or something? Who, me? 
Yeah. They're night vision goggles. Night vision goggles. Okay. Yeah, so it'll work just like dark vision. Okay. We we'll take out the priestess before she hits us with spells. But I'll sneak in. Yeah, now your arcane training, you can tell that there's like the hum of magic already in the air. They seem prepared. Okay. Uh, you ready for battle? <laughs> 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 Let's go. Charge in. <laughs> so so prepare. Kill everything. Yep. Cool. But none of the people chained to the wall. Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> Or chain to the statue. Hopefully not. Okay. <laughs> you never know. They they may transform into something. <laughs> I have a feeling. <laughs> That's true. He did get attacked in the other room. So. And magic everywhere. That's not good. Okay. So, Bella, it looks like you are up first. Uh, so, yeah. the door where this guy is standing is open, but it's still closed on the other side. Oh, I hmm. I should just go. So I'm going to. Whoops! Not do that. This right here, and ready my axe if somebody comes around the door. Okay. Unless it's one of the dazed guys. I'm okay. not going to mess with the days, guys, yet. Let them go by. Okay. Uh oh. The songs are not wanting to play. I don't know what happened. No. Ah, something happened with my songs. I know. Well, I was wrong. All right. All right, so you've got an attack ready. Okay, so the priestess rides her little dinosaur over to this side. She's kind of staying to the back, close to the statue, and close to the slaves there. Nicodemus, what do you do? I'm going to ready my bow at first, and just to uh, and, uh, ready a shot if needed for this one, if he follows. Okay. In turn. It's, I'm assuming we're really going to try to compel them to walk out, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay, so uh, since they are under her power, then she will start trying to lead them out. She says, I'm lost. Help me. I, I would make a very good meal for your priestess. <laughs> <laughs> Enticing them. Okay, so they are going to follow uh, after her. So, okay, so they start coming through the door. Uh, they, they will help you. <laughs> Come wandering past you there. All right. One follow. Yeah, those two followed. Um. Yep. But you don't see the other guy. Okay. You say guard. Off you go, Bella. Let's take them out. Round two. Mm. What do you do, Bella? Um, well, I guess I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna swing myself around this corner and swing my axe into this dude. Okay. Uh, the full power rate, what a <laughs> power attack. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> now, the cool thing about having it on your character sheet is all you have to do is hit the button so you don't have to worry about calling it out because it will be 
right there on you. Okay, very okay. good. Now, the thing is, is when you come running around the corner, he is ready to meet you because he was waiting for somebody. So, he's going to swing at you as you come up. Uh, so, what's your current AC? Ooh. AC. It's 22, isn't it? Normally. 23. 23. Okay, very good. All right, so he, he whacks you with this big, long uh, pole arm that he's got as you come up. Arr, die for Zyptotech. And he smacks you for 14 points. Damn. With this pole arm. It's got a long blade on the end of it. And then you make your attack. 25 hit or 21 slashing. Very good. All right, so you chop into him pretty well. Arrgh! But he is he's hardy, so he's still up. But you wounded him. He's got, like, blood spurting out from his neck and stuff. Slashed across a major artery. Oh. Bitch, please! Don't you hit me like that! Okay, then from the back of the room, you see the priestess, is like, doing something with her hands, and then she, like, points in your direction there, Bella. Come on. Man, my connection is horrible tonight. It's taking forever for stuff to load up. All right, so she kind of she she does something with her hands, and you're not quite certain. Um, and like a glowing magical sword appears next to you, it's not quite that big. It's that big. It starts slashing in the air. It, it was huge. It was anime. It was anime. I thought it was a laser beam going at me or something. There's there's no grid on this because I had to turn it off. So. When you pull something onto the map, it just it defaults to being really, really big. Normally, it would be like the size it would be in the grid, but uh, since there's no grid, it's huge. Okay, so it uh, appears in the air next to you and starts slashing at you, but you're like able to deflect it with your armor. Good. Nicodemus, what do you do? I will go inside. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, assuming I'm gonna go around, like I go around <laughs> the thing about I don't want to go through the place, and I see the priestess, and I'm going to cast uh, Eclipse Ray of Eclipse. If you remember, it's a touch uh, attack, and it will blind for one round and does two d6 of cold damage. And then if it hits, there's no resistance. Okay. Range touch. Go ahead. So, just touch. Because that was the one that didn't even have it as, like, you just automatic hit, but, you know, with the error, you, you, you talked about how it was an error. All right, so range. There it is, ranged. And 5, 10, 15, Ah! Ooh. No way. Ooh. Roll a 1. I uh, gotta confirm it. Okay. Ooh. Jeez, went for 220s and then hit a 1. <laughs> Obviously. She's doing magic, right? Yeah, but it's still, it's a ray. Then I get 21, so I guess it's just a miss. 
Yeah, I'm so it goes. It just goes wide. Your spell goes wide. Yep. Okay. And, and then, uh, and I'm right here, right beside the guy. Oh yeah, that was smart. In turn. <laughs> get, on, get on the other side. Get on the other side. Okay, so Lorelai will continue leading these guys just away from the fray there. They'll follow. Right. Yes, I'm lost, but I'm also very supple and juicy. Don't you think your priestess would like to eat me? Okay. Alright, and back to this dude. And he is, uh, he looks kind of swole up, and he's like crackling with, uh, with energy and stuff. He's like, uh, and, uh, oh no. He's also like, uh, growling and real angry, like almost like he's in a rage. He's just like, Argh! You will die for the glory of Zyktotak. Mm, so he's got two of you here. All right, he's going to stick after his Bella for a moment here. All right, so he whacks you again, Bella. There are 16 points this time. Yeah, I'm not going to make this one. Dum, dum, dum. Have to take him out quick. Did I do it right? I didn't do it right. Bella, what's your full? Just curious, Bella. What's your full points? He, um, what's your max hit point? Uh, 65. 65 we we healed up, but you I wasn't didn't. healed up all the way. Oh, you wasn't? I thought no. we healed. You. Everybody got healed up. Okay. No, I wasn't healed up all the way. You should have oh. been healed up all the way. Yeah. No, you did. I thought we healed everybody up all the way. That's why we you did all that oh. before we ended. So let's put you at so sixty five, and then you took what sixteen, and what was the other one? Nineteen. Oh shit. Um, third. Wait, fourteen. You lost fourteen. Okay. Okay. All right, so that puts you at thirty five. Still not great, but it's a little bit better. No. Right. <laughs> I think she was at fifty five when you guys came. Okay. Right. Okay, so what do you do? Uh, smash him. Um, do, 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 do. We fire attack. Twenty-two hits. Rolled one on damage, but still doing twenty points there. <laughs> All, right, All so these you, ones. Yep. So you spear him right in his stomach. What do you do? Yes. You kill him. Oh, slide it right up. Yeah. <laughs> Pop his little head off. <laughs> Poor little dog boy. All right. He flops to the ground. Choose your master wisely. Okay, who's next? <laughs> survive, you will make a good offering for Zyptotech. That's what she says. Yeah. So you see her, you see the uh, Simbin Priestess again is back there wiggling her Wiggling her fingers and pointing in your direction again. So she's obviously preparing the welcoming committee for you. Oh, shit. Oh, I was looking at the sheet. I mean, I turned the effect, so something must have just happened. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You guys uh, just got fireballed. Uh, oh, reflex save. Yep, reflex save for half. Okay. The, the reflex. 
Nice. Okay. Nice. 20, 20 points wow. fire damage. Ah. You can save Darn. for half. <gasps> did I save? Did oh, I wow. Save? Yeah, you did save. I've okay. been rolling crazy. It's like two. It's like either really <gasps> low or really high. So I guess I took 20. You take 20 fire. Yep. Oh, and I took 10. You took 10. Oh. And, and our healer is aren't here. <laughs> oh. uh, well, you know that uh, Lorelai has a healing kit. So. Okay. So she can Russia. heal you. Um, and she can't heal you in combat, too. She right. has to come okay. back and do it. So you might want to yell out to her or something. Lorelai! <laughs> Yo! Yes, you will make good slaves. Let me see if I've got, uh, I'll show you the little bigger picture of the icon here for her. Uh, so imagine this, except uh, female. Okay. And that's your typical Simvin. The gods weren't very good to you, were they? <laughs> Nicodemus, what do you do? I'm going to pronounce. Uh, first, I'm going to look at her and <laughs> figure out what she is. Uh, I want to identify is that what she what she looks like. Okay. Um, I'm assuming the lizard people, but I have to pronounce judgment and vain and all that stuff. I got to know what they are. Uh, is it knowledge? Which one, which knowledge do you have? I have nature, arcana, engineering, sonics, and religion. Okay. It is going to be nature. Right. Nature, knowledge, nature. That will be a plus two with the equipment bonus. So the people ah. chained up along the wall. Oh, uh, TM, that's not a good roll. Uh, Ow! So, it's rolling low. So they're definitely looking up and they seem animated. Some of them are pulling at their chains and they're kind of like cheering you on. They're like, yeah, get them, get Okay. Them. So, 10. 10 is not going to do it. Um, all you know. I that, can't even tell what she is? Yeah. You, I mean. So if I can't identify her, can I even do judgment in vain? Because you have to usually judge it. Well, you know she's. Well, well, you know she is a Simvin, so you can identify that much. Okay. In, in okay, that's of, all I need. It's just in terms of like class and abilities, you, you can't identify. Okay, I'll do one of these. First thing I'm going to do is uh, pronounce uh, Bane on her on, with my bow. Okay. And then do a full round attack on her with the bow. Okay. So I wrap fire. That's what I mean, full round, just for wrap fire. Okay. So if I do, so plus, plus three. So plus one, two, three. Yeah, three. Plus one. Oh, jeez. Did they, did they both hit? Ooh, 30 and 18. Uh, the 30 the will hit, uh, the 18 is not going to hit. Okay, so with the 30, it'd be, with the Bane, is 2d6. Okay. So, damage with the Bane. Nice. Enter. Jeez! Oh, <laughs> mm, dice are striking Ooh. back. Jesus! Wow. Alright, uh, that's in turn. Wow. Roll a 1, 2, and a 1 on damage. Ah, infidels. You'll pay for that as you ride in agony points. upon the stone altar of the Flay God. Ah. Russia, Bella. Charge her. Show her the way of your blade. So, um... So you hear... So, Bella, you hear um, a voice in your head... And she says, uh, my 
friend, are you in distress? And you hear Lorelai speaking to you in your head. <laughs> I whisper back to her in my head, yes. <laughs> I guess it worked. <laughs> How are you doing that? <laughs> okay, so I'm she tells them, um, in my head. Hold, hold the doors open for me. I will be back. Yep. Sure will. Okay, so actually she can run. Okay, so she runs all the way back up the hall. So she's on the other side, um, so she can get to you, um, you guys, the next round. Okay, Bella, what do you do? Oh, this takes us back to round three. Um. Ooh. I am going to swing at this sword and see if it'll go away with my scythe power attack. It hasn't quite been able to penetrate your armor yet. Nice. Okay, so you hit it and it just kind of clangs and spins in the air. Katang! So it's more of a distraction. Look at her trying to distract us. And then I can I just I'm on five foot step from here to there. So uh, you hear in your head, uh, so Lorelai says, "Be be careful, Bella. You cannot harm her sorceries. You must attack the priestess directly." Gotcha. I still don't understand how you're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> we hear voices all the time, woman. Look, Poppy doesn't understand either. Poppy's Poppy's wondering why she's not alone now. All right, uh, Nicodemus, make a will save. Ooh. You're no longer uh, invisible. Right. I was just 20 and ones, baby, 20 and ones. Okay, so you feel <laughs> you wow. feel your limbs, like, starting to stiffen up, like you can't move, but then you're able to, like, through sheer force of will, just drive your way through and, and uh, maintain control over your body. Be wary, she's trying to control us with her mind. Lord, like, maybe you could counter her with your own. And uh, you see that she reaches and opens this door behind her. Right oh, no. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Nicodemus, what do you do? All right, I'm going to pronounce the destruction judgment. And then I'm going to rapid fire full round on her. Okay. Actually, I should throw something, but that gave me more damage. So, well, the judgment to a day, which gives me plus two. So, rapid fire, and that'd be one, two, three, four, five, plus five, plus one. Boom. They hit. Still roll a one at second one. Yep, those will both hit. All right, so that would be Bane. So I'm just gonna put it for each. So I guess it would just be the first. I don't. I don't want to make sure I get the mechanics right for Bane. If Bane's my weapon, will it be for both shots? Oh, yeah, it's the both shots. Shot? It's 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 All like right. as if your weapon had that property. Nice. So, so, so boom. Yeah. Thirteen. Uh, 18, 29 points hits her. Boom. Ooh, nice. Good shot. Yeah, and there's a way you can actually add that on your character sheet. You can just... Oh, damn it. You I figured just, I could do a, like one, like a Bane one like, for each weapon, I'm assuming, right? Um. Well, what I do as a gunslinger is I have a, 
bonus damage. There's a slot beneath the weapon damage for like bonus mm-hmm. damage, and right. it, it will always come up. You just say when you're using. It. Oh, like, gotcha. Like, like the rapid one. Yeah, and it'll it'll just all, it'll always be there. And just be like, okay, apply the bane on this one. That's I'll do with bane because with all the inquisitor bonuses, it, 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 like I haven't cast divine favor, which gives another one. <laughs> You know, I'll do the bait and then just add the divine stuff later. Because I'll do that on the next round. Okay. Um, um, cast. Well, so I'm going to cast it to do the damage. I mean, I have time to get it. <laughs> Both of your arrows, are, they're like stuck in your, in your chest and stuff. She definitely seems pretty hurt by that. She cries out in pain. <laughs> ah. She doesn't? She cries out in pain. She says, uh, uh, Master oh, Totec, okay. save me from these heretics. Now, so Lorelai is going to uh, five foot step over and she pulls out um, uh, one of the healing kits and it's a standard action to apply um, so she can actually do it in combat. It's a part of the trauma kit. Okay. And it will heal you back. Okay, so she heals you back for eight points. So she like applies a, a quick salve and a spray and uh, you feel like a numbness come over your flesh and uh, there you go, get eight points back. And she says, uh, here, this will help soothe your wounds you hear her speaking in your voice and in, in your head again and um, but her, you know, her mouth is closed the whole time that she's doing it. And that brings us up to round four. Bella, what do you do? Archer, go after her. I guess I'm going for the ugly woman. Let's see. <laughs> oh. You can get close, you can get right beside her. You get 20 feet. Would that be 20 feet right there? To I right. Make the ding. Assuming, is, she, is she in this one or is she in this box? You can She's get right through here. here. I, I had to move her a little bit so I could click on her. And she's right here. Okay. You get right. You can get the. You can get right there. You hit, you hit your shot. Okay. I am gonna hit her with my scythe. Okay. Do do her attack. You, you can cleave Uh-oh. and hit both. I didn't both. mean to hit it twice. <laughs> uh, Whoa. You can cleave it. That was my bad. I hit it twice. That's fine. Just go with the first one. Yep. Okay. Well, seventeen is not going to hit. She's like she's able to deflect it. Sing. Ah. Heretic. I'll look forward to cutting your heart out. Okay. So the sword follows you over. Tries to hit you from behind, but is going to miss. Okay, now you're right on top of her. So, uh, she's got a spear in her hand, so she's just going to stab at you with it here. So, she makes with the stabbing, and you're able to deflect it with your armor. But, you're also close enough that you get a good look at her her uh, little dinosaur there and it goes <laughs> and it tries to bite you that misses and then it slashes out with talons the first talon misses oh, shit. and the second talon nice misses. nice oh you're mine it both I'm gonna treat you so good and then they five foot back through oh the she's running door. Nicodemus oh. what do you do Alright, I basically five foot over so I can get a shot at her. Okay. And I wrap a shot. And C5, 10, 15, 20. All the bonuses. Five, one. Oof. 21 and 13. Do they both hit? Oh, the 12 definitely misses, but the 21 hit. 
They're both gonna miss. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm still rolling low. That's with all of these crazy bonuses. At least I can cast a spell now and up my chances <laughs> even more. I hit her. I probably need to switch weapons to hit her with. She won't do as much damage, but in the hit. In turn. Yeah, I mean, I think technically you can cast other, your abilities on any weapon, like even guns and stuff. So, you know. Yeah, you can switch it. Yeah, I can switch it over. Well, the reason I picked the bow because it has a strength bonus here because the bullet doesn't get a strength bonus, so the arrow does more damage oh, than okay. the gun. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, plus, but I do have the laser, which would have been touch, so it'll hit more often. All right, so Lorelai reaches out with her mind, and she's like, this is enough. And she's going to try to psionically attack. You guys feel like a ripple in the air behind you going towards the going towards the, uh, the Simp and Priestess. And she needs to save. Okay. And she failed. Nice. Ooh. Okay, she's stunned. Ooh. Take her idea. Destroy her. Show her the error of ways. As Pharasma is, is blessing us now. I should have did. I'll do it next time if I miss okay. again. So they are both stunned from uh, her psionic nice. blast. Um, she says, hurry, it, it, will, it will only affect them momentarily. Dash and dash and hit them with the lash. I'm ready. Alright, Bella, what do you do? I am gonna walk right up to her and smash her <laughs> with my scythe. Her with cleave, right? Yes, cleave. Yeah, cleave, you can hit both of them. So. Otherwise, you only have one attack right now. You're still rolling those, you're still rolling those ones on your. <laughs> wow, you rolled a 14? I don't know. Okay, uh, wow. Well, the good thing about being stunned, though, is that, that she loses uh, her dex bonus and she takes a penalty to AC, so you haven't necessarily missed. Let me figure out. The... Go to two. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> and you roll a two and then a one of damage. What is going on with us today, man? You're rolling horrible. That is still going to miss. So, yeah. So, you Dang. in your in your excitement. Uh, re-roll. Re-roll. I'm going to use my re-roll. Very good. All right. So okay. You, in your excitement, nice. you rush forward and swing wide, but you're able to follow up and swing again. So, go for it. Right. You're going down. Mm, not really. <laughs> Yeah, no, 19 will do it because she's stunned. Oh, okay. All right, you Swipe hit her. Swipe again at the dinosaur. How do you kill her? Oh, oh. Oh, I take her head off. Oh, okay, so her head just comes right off. like, And she's, like, Tenure. stunned and bubbling and just, like, flops her right down onto the ground and rolls. And you going to hit the dinosaur? Lands on the sticky stump and looks up at you. <laughs> and you can follow up and I get wanna, the dinosaur. I kind of want to keep the dinosaur. Can I have the it dinosaur? It, it, it's going to attack you in a second. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll well, I mean, very up. briefly, you, wait, you, would, wait. you would have to figure out how to keep it from killing you and then how to train it. So it's, yeah. Mm, okay. Let me just get him out of the way. So if you have a way to incapacitate it, you can. Wow, look at all these ones you're doing on damage in a row. Well, I'd rather be on, well, on the damage well, than it. the other thing. I know. But it's like, wow, look at all those reds on that part on damage. <laughs> so many. Yeah, see, so slash it. The uh, dinosaur's pretty tough. That's not going to kill it, though. 
So it's, it's You've got more of a fight than your master. Still up. Um, but it is currently stunned right now. So the sword just blinks out. Blink, as the the priestess dies. What about the darkness? The magic of darkness still remains? Or darkness gone? stays because it's duration based and it's cast on something. Oh, okay. It's obviously centered on the statue there. So, yeah. All right. Alright, so she's going to try again. She says, uh, I can try to stun it again. She can keep it stunned for a few rounds. She's burning up some psychic points there. So psionics are interesting because you can, you can augment them and put, like, extra points into it. Like, every time you use an ability, it has, like, a point cost. Like, it costs her five points to do sound and glass um, mm -hmm. but then you can augment it and if you put extra points into it like it has different effects and stuff so it's, it's an interesting system um okay she stunned it again so it'll be stunned for another round Mom. oh me 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 back to you we will do it again put it out of it out of your misery. Yeah, uh, that's. How's that not, how's that not a one? Still 20. Yeah, that's I weird. How about your damage? It. Hey, your numbers aren't making any sense. Oh, it's the. I have no idea. Three. Oh, it's the second one. It's the side. It's because the side. It's not. It's it's two d four. It's because it's two. That's why two dice. And yeah. it two twos. Yeah. Okay. All right. That'll two, be enough two, to, two, to, two, three, to two, incapacitate it, so it's down and dying. And and the slaves. I shall put the, you out to your misery. The slaves are like cheering and stuff, and they're like, yeah. Well, yeah. the, the ones that can see, the rest of them are like, What's happening? It's all dark. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. Alright, so she is dead. And it is going to be. Do we down. need her head for anybody? You may keep that thing, my dear. Do we need it? Will we get money for it? Will you get mo no. money for it? Okay. We were not paid for this endeavor. Do you remember that? Um, I was never paid for an endeavor to begin with. Yeah, I just were. randomly showed up here. <laughs> you were paid. I gave you a portion of No, our I wasn't success. part of the deal in the beginning. That's so Lo Lorelai yeah, said mercenary is it necessary to discuss your finances even when we're in the midst of <laughs> trying to ensure the safety of those around us <sighs> my bad I'm just, he's I'm rubbing just trying, off on me I'm just trying to quell her interesting mind <laughs> Okay, so you guys are out of initiative. Is it knowledge religion on that statue? Sure, you can knowledge religion it. I don't want to bust, bust the statue down. Well, let's, you still can, and that won't keep you from uh, the knowledge. Let's see. Alright, so we'll have... 25. <laughs> 20s and 1s, 20s and 1s. <laughs> but not when you really need them. Yeah, not so it's a, it's a statue of, of Xyphate Totec. Um, oops, that's loud. Okay, turn that down. Is that V-A-L-T-I-C? Uh, I'll put it in chat here for you. XIP TOT Totec. I thought you said almost like Kotec. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Okay, okay. so the doctor, you guys hear an explosion <laughs> from outside. The doctor deals with the the dog boy guards that were out there. And he'll come over and help you guys out. He says, uh, yes, <laughs> this beneath the altar is where the hidden entrance will lie to uh, the lower lower levels. Uh, but you asked about Zypetotech. Let me tell you about that. I just have to figure out where they are. Um, so Lorelai sets about trying to uh, free the slaves there. I must help them. Okay, I'll help her unlock the slaves. Okay. <sighs> I want to know who set these people. Who tasked these people with this? So I'm going to search the beheaded woman. Okay. Let's see, I'm having to go through the, uh, figure out where Zypotec is here in the... In the expanded, there we are, page 173, okay. So I gave you guys the PDF of Dragons and Gods expanded, so that has the bulk of them, the bulk of your days okay. and stuff for this world. Um, so Zytotec is the god of flame. This was the god of the spring and fertility to represent the changing of seasons his priests killed a sacrificial victim peeled off the skin and wore the skin in a gruesome ritual Zypotec himself wore a cloak made out of human skin so as you're realizing this you realize that the blood and gore hanging on the statue is actually skin that has been flayed off of victims and hung on the statue Aww. Um, this monstrous god demanded some terrible sacrifices from his worshippers, such as tying victims to posts and shooting them with arrows, or dripping blood, a symbol of fertilizing rain, among others. This god was cruel and fickle, sometimes causing droughts to drive his worshippers to a new series of murderous rituals. The god likes to barter for life at the cost of the deaths of others. He enjoys the corrupting effect of this payment on the priests and the people buckling to his demands. Zypotec also enjoys possessing people to commit horrible, bloody crimes. The god has some some powers similar to those of an alien intelligence, including the ability to possess mortals. Uh, according to legend, Zypotec has been on Earth for thousands of years after the Aztec priests were exterminated by the Spanish. The god created secret cults that kept conducting bloody sacrifices. These dark cults were often discovered by psychic investigators, arcanists, and secret agents throughout the ages. Most of these cults remained in Mexico, but sometimes they committed crimes in other parts of the world. Some rumors even suggest that they may have influenced Adolf Hitler. <laughs> uh. Zypotec protected a handful of his followers during the time of the rifts, and now remnants of the cult live on in human cities like El Paso and even in some vampire-held areas, including the cities of the Mexican Empire. The Mexican cult has served Zypotec well, providing him and the other Aztec gods with valuable information about the vampires and humans in the area. Zypotec is all for an alliance with vampires. Cults led by this creature will be merciless and destructive and usually composed of evil humans, monsters, and lesser demons. If the god has his way, altars will be erected across the nation and hundreds of victims will be offered to him every night. He likes to torture and torment creatures of good alignment and all beings weaker than himself. So there you go. Definitely not a good thing. I'm going to take but my it, hammer it, and you bash you, it to death. Okay. You may destroy it. The vampires love this thing. I hit it. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you going to hit it with your hammer? Oh, oh, I didn't know I actually had to, like... There's people chained to it right <laughs> now. You want to get them out of the way? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I was hoping, um... We'll just role play it. Um, I was just letting you... Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, have we freed all the people yet from the statue? Because I was helping Lorelai. Yeah, so we'll yeah, say, say the monkey will help you there. He's actually the one that has to... I don't think you guys have any... Disable abilities, but yeah, so 
Probably not. Well, I, do. I can just I, wait oh, stuff. Yeah, I, actually, I do. I just don't have magical disable. So two of these guys here and here actually are captured coalition soldiers. Oh. The two guys without the bags on their heads. Okay. So as you help them, they're kind of like, they kind of look at you with disgust and stuff. I didn't do so good with my gauntlet. Isn't that what my hammer is? You, you know you can hit it more than once. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just... Wow. Wow. Hmm. Well, yeah, it's, you gotta. Yeah, you it's okay. Right. You have time, so you can sit there and just hack at it until you, <laughs> so you knock it over. Yeah, I am. Or smash. <gasps> I want nothing left of this thing. Okay, and uh, Nicodemus, you said you wanted to search the priestess. Okay, so she was carrying a spear. Uh, which she has dropped. Uh, she does have a laser rifle stowed on her uh, dinosaur there, which is uh, currently bleeding out. I mean, you guys can potentially do something with it or you can finish it off. Uh, I, I uh, could agree it. Okay. <laughs> oh, we well, so uh, left out. Who? <laughs> I actually shot. You see, you see the arrows in the lady in the evil priest's chest, don't do you not? I didn't say you never hit anyone. <laughs> I just said you felt left out. You, uh, I think you uh, were so captivated by banging the statue instead of killing the enemy. This is the enemy too. <laughs> this thing, hey. this this in your mind God yeah. that they worship. Is, yeah, we have to get rid of him. Okay, so um. She's actually wearing a breastplate that detects his magic there, Nicodemus. Okay. That's part of why you were having trouble with her. All right. Let's uh, identify that bad boy. Okay. Let's go craft knowledge arcana. Okay. I'll do for spellcraft. Uh, spellcraft. Okay. I'll do for spellcraft. I'm just take 10. Would 15 be enough? Identify it. No. <clears throat> oh wow! I guess roll. <laughs> then I mean, you know, to... you know that won't be enough. It's, the numbers are okay. higher for identifying items. I only got sixteen. 16. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> roll eleven, but it's just you know I only have five. So uh, let's see. Oh, what, the what, doctor's what, here. The good monkey. doctor's here. He's the missing yeah. Mister Knowledge. I don't he, know what his he numbers can are. Help you with it. Uh, so it is a masterwork agile breastplate. No, it may not actually be magic then. It's just masterwork. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay so. I got it. And uh, she's got a spear, laser rifle, she has four eclipse, set of binoculars. Flint and steel, gas mask, basic knife, a backpack, mess kit, a thermo blade that does 1d8 fire, and a water skin. Her dog boy guards were actually armed with uh, rather archaic weaponry, so they were carrying uh, what amount to like halberds, so they're just, just basic halberds. Um. Yep. Any perception? Walk into the, anything in the room. I do perception in there. They also they are wearing um forced entry armor, which is uh plus nine plus zero, but it has a minus eight penalty. Uh, so I don't know if that's anything you'd be interested in or not, but it is solid armor, but it has a heavy penalty. Okay, so in the room there. Perception. Okay, this was once a large high ceiling chamber. I did take ten twenty-two. Okay. Uh, this is a, this was once once a large high ceiling chamber, obviously an altar room for the previous okay. church. The ceiling was once built from stone arches, but now it has all collapsed and crashed down, crushing the altar. <clears throat> <clears throat> a 
Great shattered blocks and columns cover the floor, and the roof is open to the sky. Sheets of roofing material and jagged beams thrust up from the floor. Ivy covers the walls. And a fluttering and buzzing sound can be heard back here. It's kind of in the air. Right here? Yeah. <laughs> I step a little closer. Do I, can I, is there any magic coming from back there? Let's see. No magic. Do I see anything? Uh, with that roll, that was pretty good. Actually, you notice something shiny there, um, uh, like in t un beneath the entanglement of the vines there against the wall. Okay. So as you I get, look to investigate. Yeah. So as you get closer, it looks like it's like a really nice, well-made jeweled dagger there on the ground. Ooh. Ah, shiny dagger. So as you as you're doing that, uh, the buzzing noise just gets louder and louder. Oh. And like suddenly, a swarm of large mosquitoes just come flying out from behind the uh, the bushes there. Okay. And you can roll initiative oh, again. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Let's see, maybe wow. I'm real better this time. Tight fight. Where are they? Uh, this should be There we are. Thirteen. Oh. Stay back. I'll take care of them. I need a giant flash water. It's like always one book that's just out of reach here. Stay back. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so one of the slaves like sees it and he's like, oh no, those are Texas Skeeters. Don't drain your blood. <laughs> Just run back in here and shut the door. Yeah. My turn. <laughs> okay, so round one, what do you do? You're actually up first. So I go back here to the outside the door. <laughs> Wait, hold on. That's right, it's on my bandolier, so. So, like, one, two, three, yeah. Right here. I, I pull out a. <coughs> my bandolier, a. Phosphor, not phosphorus, the thermite grenade. And throw it at the wall, right beside it, where okay. they are. Make a two hit roll. Yeah. All right, range. Don't roll one. <laughs> See. <laughs> Twenty. <laughs> Twenty ones, baby. That's all I do. Nice. So that's eight d six right at the. Okay. Right at them. <gasps> 
All right, so that'll be enough to, to blow them up and fry them. Yeah, let me. And it's 20 feet, so fine. Yeah, and so it burns up everything within 20. So pretty sure I was outside of 20 feet. <laughs> 8 D6 of damage. That should end them. That should take care of them. Let's see. Uh, you can uh, roll fly, uh, Knowledge Nature on Texas Skeeters to see what you know about them. Okay. Let's see, now it's nature. A plus two. Is he the Inquisitor? 21. There you go, much better. Okay, so these hand sized insects are gigantic wow. versions of normal mosquitoes. They travel in swarms, descending on warm blooded victims to drain the blood that provides their sustenance. The name Texas Skeeter refers to the critter's size, not where it can be found. I don't know if you guys are actually in Texas, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, these nasty bloodsuckers have been sighted up and down the Mississippi, as well as further east. They prefer swampy terrain, as that is where they breed. The swarm holds 12 to 20 skeeters. Unlike their smaller cousins, skeeters need a lot of blood to survive and tend to attack in such numbers that they kill their prey instead of just raising welts. A swarm that catches a person unaware can quickly drain them into a bloodless husk. Alright. Uh, Fortune you right without much difficulty so Lorelai says um, you know perhaps before you go poking around too much we should tend to your wounds yeah that would be good so she comes over and she's going to apply her uh, trauma kit to you there Bella okay so, I have my own way of healing myself, and I use uh, I use a spell to heal myself. <laughs> no. Not with that spell. You sure? <laughs> All right. That so, spell. so she heals you back for a... six points. Go ahead, Phil. <laughs> he rolled a one. Yeah, I got my thing too. But I will heal myself. You heal her. Alright, she'll give you another one. Ooh, nine points off that one. For me? Yep. To 48. And then eight more. She says, here, this is my last last bit of spray. And she continues spraying anesthetic and applying gel. And you get another eight points. Uh, -uh. uh so oh. doc doctor says uh here, here, here is the the other ha hatch leading to the passage down below uh oh. once we clear the the freed men from the area we can position the explosives shall we <clears throat> yes. Let's do it. Shall we go forth then? So he tells you, um, I was able to install a virus into the security systems and disable it. Not before uh, downloading all, all of their data files. Oh, that sounds so smart. Mm, yes, uh, I am very smart after all. <laughs> I am impressed. I learned much in my time in the Lone Star Complex before I escaped. <laughs> Just taking all the chains off these guys. All right. Okay, so they will. Uh, they'll start making their way out. The coalition guys will right away just trying to, to go away and say, "Well, I guess you're not too bad for a mutoid." Because you know they're kind of racist. Right? <laughs> mm. Should have killed always them. Like those, always like those kind of racist people. <laughs> Should have killed them. <laughs> 
He ain't full racist. He just kind of racist. Kind of racist. That's all. <laughs> healthy racism. What's wrong with that? Right. <laughs> He's a little bit. <laughs> okay, so you uh, you're able to to recover the jewel dagger. It seems like a ceremonial dagger. It might have been something that the uh, priestess had lost back there at one time or another. Um, you can make an appraisal check on it. Uh, so you think it could be pretty valuable, maybe 500 credits or so. Okay. Awfully pretty. You don't want to get rid of it. Okay, and the doctor can successfully uh, apply... The, the doctor uh, had like a... He had a plus 7, I believe. Going yeah, I think he could just take 10 to set his demolition. So yeah. He does have too much of a problem yeah, with that. Yeah, let's do Okay. Not for this anyway. Not too bad. Good doctor. Hell oh, darn it. Get my rocks here. Gosh, I've got to get my rollerball, my trackball reinstalled for this so I can make it easier to scroll across these big old screens. There we go. I suggest uh, uh, clearing the room. <laughs> moves back. Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. Come on, Lorelei. Don't just... Stay in there. Okay, you guys are Come on. to move back to get to safety there. That's something good. Winds up bringing that down. And that will seal the other one of the other entrances. Okay, so if we look at our handouts. Bring this up for you guys. Um, so you know there are two more. Um, and uh, the doctor tells you... Uh, uh, According to the cameras, they were sparsely guarded uh, in the hallway. Uh, perhaps if we use subterfuge, we can uh, quietly plant the explosives and, and get away. Uh, uh, uh. That would work. So so like fun. That is what he says to you, so do you have any suggestions off of that? Where, where, what numbers were they located? Okay, you know so it, yeah. if you look at it, um, you remember the one are. is in the gar is in the graveyard, which is in the top left over there. Okay. Uh, so, you, so you know one is there, and then down from the graveyard down the hall and to the right, um, there's a set of steps. Actually, it might be better if I drew you guys over to. Uh, I'll take you guys over to that map here. Okay. look at it as a map instead of as a handout where you guys are so one of one of them's here right he's yeah. about here over the graveyard yep and the other one and the other one is right there those steps okay. well i guess we could use with all the commotion i wonder i'm surprised i haven't <laughs> like, hey, let's go investigate. Maybe they're disciplined. They're disciplined. Maybe they're not paying attention. Because, you know, they're bad guys. They think they've got it all. No, uh, they are mobilizing below. We must oh, act shit. quickly. Let's okay. hurry. Let's, let's run, run to it. <laughs> Double time it. Double time it, people. Let's go. Um. So no. uh, he suggests that uh, uh, why not? Use the roof. We'll go out the hole here. 
Yep, Great. sounds good to me. Because you can just run right across the roof over there. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Go roof! Go roof! Uh, well, we must be uh, stealthy. Uh, uh, somehow. <laughs> <laughs> can we be invisible again? <laughs> I, I think we use all those charges. I can't remember. How many did we initially have? And, and you had five, I think. Yeah, so we use yeah. what three of them? Okay. And I, I I can't use anybody. That's a high level spell for me. So I, I, gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. All right. You can sneak. Very good. Okay, move you back over here to the major map. Okay. Uh, just for expedience' sake, since you guys have mostly cleared it out, we'll just we'll just say you're able to successfully do it there. You can sneak over, and, okay, and plant your explosives and everything that way. We can Boom. Wrap up on this upper section, and that way you don't have to feel bad. You uh, freed the slaves, both the ones that were, um, you know, the few that were trapped there in the guardhouse, and the one that the priestess had and was most likely, you know, going to sacrifice and whatnot. And then uh, you sealed all the passages. Leading down below. I'll give you a couple explosions for that. Oh, you scared my baby! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he jumped! <laughs> There you go. And uh, then you guys can. Uh... The doctor says, here, we're still one of their vehicles. <laughs> you can just drive away. So. Can I drive? I want to drive. Do you uh, have the drive skill? I don't no. know, but who cares? Nope. Uh, just, we do. I watched so, so many people don't... do it. <laughs> uh, you, you, can, just... you can play navigator. You just yeah. turn the wheel. You Step play on navigate some buttons. It. If we attack, we need you to slay the dragons. If we attack, <sighs> I shall drive. Can you drive? Yes, that's my specialty. I drive things. I fly things. That's my specialty. Mm. All right, so I will move you guys up here, then. So y'all pile into the. Right there, pile into the the uh, their little truck, and you can drive on out of the compound there. And as you're doing this, you can hear various uh, dog boys and the guards, you know, shouting and yelling in the distance, shot ringing out, and everything. We would have killed all of you. But you have effectively, uh, you know, crippled crippled this part of uh, the organization, so you've closed off all of the major entrances and exits to down below. You do know that there is at least one um, lieutenant still, though the um, the former Cynet, uh dog boy, the, the first guy that you met with um, that had psionic abilities. Um, and you remember, he was the one that took the laser rifle from you initially. So you know right. he, he's probably still out there outside the compound somehow. But aside from that, you, you know you've uh, crippled this organization. So you guys are. But done. All right. You got a new the hold. We did it. We did it. I, I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> don't you? Or don't you love it when a plan comes together? Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> who has time for plans? Yes. And Lorelai says, uh, "Yes." And we don't have time to celebrate either. There are still a lot of people that need our help out there. But for now, we can rest and and heal our wounds. Yes, and get some food. I'm hungry. <laughs> so you can uh, head back to Marius's shop where he'll fix you guys up some burritos and chimichangas and all those kinds of things. And his, his, his daughter hey, will... Chicken chimichangas. <laughs> <laughs> they love those eggs. But yeah. The, the, his daughters and children will apply uh, trauma kits to you. 
So, uh, oh, Laurel, I you. ask you, um, so did you, uh, have you put thought into accepting my invitation to visit my, my village where my people can thank you for helping the people of our clan? That would be appropriate. I think so. Sure. That and they're not going to eat us, right? No, we don't eat people. No. Okay. <laughs> and maybe we. Could, and, but what about people like him? And I'm pointing at Nicodemus. Like, <laughs> is he people? <laughs> of course, I'm people. You okay. Just... You him, sure? I don't sure. know about. Most minds <laughs> are open to me, like a book. Yet his remains closed. And in fact. It's almost as though there were no book there at all. It's very curious. Good. Phrasma protects my mind from intruders like you. Hmm, yes, yes. I see. She's well, your friend. She's not an intruder. Invading someone's mind. A friend would not do that without permission. But I have Poppy all the time. She's always in my head. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Well, mercenary, hopefully you've recovered enough um, enough contraband from the slavers that uh, you'll feel amply rewarded for your service. My reward comes from Phrasma. Oh, the, so you didn't want that gold? The items that the credits you see will help us buy the items we need in our missions. It's not for, it's not for greed for greed's sake. The sake is the mission. That's what we are after. The mission. So the doctor can help you better appraise the dagger. He actually says it would be worth a thousand credits. So, okay. gold dagger for a thousand credits there. It would be pretty on my leg, too. You know, you can <laughs> attach it right here. Uh, you have, I think Sorry. you acquired many daggers. Didn't we just give you all kind of blades before? Oh. Um. Yes, but and you I'll, can you, never have one too many. I mean, it's just, uh, just you know, it would just go with my outfit. <laughs> and plus, we don't want a more shiny, happy things on you. So people can see you when we need to sneak. You're just making excuses. Okay. <laughs> you just don't want me to have it. That's fine. Just say that. I think you said it for me. So you guys can rest up at Marius's shop, um, so you can go ahead and heal up and everything as you need to. Um, you can buy and sell, you know, basic uh, items and tech items here in New San Antonio. Uh, the cost is going there's it's going to be more expensive though, uh, and you're not going to get as much on trade. Okay. Or you guys can wait and go to Houston. Um, so uh, what we'll what we'll do for next time is we'll pick up with the journey to. Uh, to Lorelei's tribe, which is uh, up north there at the uh, village of Lejos Air, just north of the haunted ruins of Dallas. And um, Tourmaline says uh, that she's she's glad about this as well because she has family near that area um, south of the ruins, so it would be a good chance for her to stop by as well. And Ooh, um, more dragons? No. Uh, yes. No, sadly, I am the only dragon in my oh. family, but uh, you might my, like my uncle. You know, uncle Puzzle. He says a lot of uh, how do you say? Puzzling things? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, you'll He's like not it. A... Sounds like fun. So, we'll pick up next time. You guys can make your trip up. If you want, you can uh, you know, you know, can swing over to Houston. That's no big deal. You can do your buying, selling, and trading. And then... Uh, make the long trip up to uh, up to uh, Lejos Air and you can meet her uh, meet her town and we'll have a slight change of pace for that that little segment as you go about uh, being thanked and welcomed by her clan okay so congratulations cool. you guys have completely finished uh, Slave Pits of the Undercity although you didn't go in and like exterminate all the bugs you at least you know you've trapped them and whatnot for now so you feel pretty good about that. gonna suffocate and yeah. die being unable to escape from down there <laughs> so most likely what will happen is the bugs will turn on the slavers at some point and that'll be a tough <gasps> breaking problem oh there. no oh I'm my sure, gosh I'm, that would be awesome oh, oh no i'm sure you all want to go save them <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, Tourmaline says, well, now that you mention it, that is a rather cruel fate to <laughs> commit anyone to. Uh, no, we're just right exactly there. Way, that's exactly what he, what he would say. Not, no. <laughs> just with some tape. Let's tape Let's this dragon's mouth up. up. Let's just go save them because, you know, they are in need and we are here to help everyone. Even the, one, even the ones that need to be punished. Mm, they dug their holes. They can have it. Yes. <laughs> Lorelai says, yes, many of us have dug our holes. We're waiting for our time to be lowered into it. But until then, we will make a difference. We will make this land safe once more for human and mutant and DB alike. There you go. And with that, that's probably a good note to end on. Yep.